Good morning creators and welcome to another UEFN tutorial. In this episode I'm going to show you how to create zip lines and slip strings in UEFN. First you're going to open up your content drawer under Fortnite Environment and Traversal. You'll find SkyTube 1, Zipline 1, and Zipline Spline. First we're going to deal with zip lines, so I'm going to place the zip line hold down. This doesn't really do anything, it's just a prop. We're going to place both of them down just to, as a reference. Next we're going to place down our Zipline Spline. And you'll notice at first it's just a stub. So the cool thing about splines is that you can extend them to create larger meshes and they all connect. So the way that works, and I'm just gonna rotate it so it's facing the right way. I'm gonna connect one end to the zipline pole. As close as I can. And then to edit the spline, I'm going to select one of these white squares. These are spline points. And I can move it out. I can move it up wherever I want. I can rotate it however I want. I can scale it as well, although I do not recommend doing that for the zip line. Um, I can select these ends, and this is going to be basically the curve. And I can extend that up. If I want to add a new node, I'm going to click on one of these spline points. I'm going to right click, and then I can delete, I can duplicate, I can select, etc. But I just want to duplicate so I can add another point. And I would add another point. I don't currently want to do that, so I'm just going to leave it like this. And I'm going to extend until. Yeah, I'm going to extend until I get to my second zipline pole. So zip lines are very intuitive, um, but you can keep creating some really wacky zip line designs. If you want to have like a zip line map, it's just zip lines. You can totally do that. And so, eventually it's lined up. Might take a moment. But eventually it'll be connected to your other zip line pole. And then you have your zip line. Of course, if you want to edit the curve of it, you can. You can always add a spline point in the middle here. But if you want to adjust the curves, it's pretty easy. It's like that. And if you go in game, the zip line will work perfectly as you expect it to. Now, if you want to place down a sky tube, it's pretty easy. You place it down. You'll notice at first it's pretty small. So if you want to scale it, you can. That's a cool thing about uh, cool thing about splines. You can scale them. So you can scale it like that. Go back into movement mode. Click on your next spline point. And I'm just going to move it out. It's going to extend it up. Of course, you can always curve the spline like that. Or you can curve it using this. And that's going to make it linear currently. If you want to duplicate the spline point, of course you just do that. And then you can extend it out. And you'll notice it automatically curves to fit the spline. Now, let's say I want the spline to increase in size as you go along. I'm going to extend this out. And you'll notice I can select this and I can actually scale it. And it'll scale along with the spline so it gets larger so if I want to have a spline that increases in size or de decreases in size is a pretty simple thing and it's a very modular system it's very easy to work with 